Yo, 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 we're going to talk finances tonight. I know that excites you. Some of us, we love to see the financial numbers. So I have a couple things to share with you. God is blessing our church and your generosity is making a difference and blessing other people. So take a look at these numbers. Let me put them up on the screen here. Okay, you'll see across the top line, pledge giving. Those that made a pledge, you'll see it's actually ahead of budget about about $114,000. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the way that you have continued to bless us and sustain us and allow us to be in ministry. You'll see unpledged giving is behind. This is the offering plate on Sunday. So naturally, since we haven't been in person, uh, this would be affected. Now, the interesting thing is you'll see on this category, actual budget, budget, and then amended budget. And so, what we've done is we've compared a, a non-COVID year with what's happened during this pandemic. We've, we've shifted the budget several months ago to reflect what we think is going to happen in this time of pandemic. And so the exciting thing is in a non-COVID year, our offering would only be upside down about $64,000 through the end of September in a non-COVID year. In our amended COVID year, we're actually $12,000 ahead of offering through the end of September. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now you'll see some other incomes here. Uh, the preschool, we know the preschools were closed for a season. Of course, that's gonna impact income. They're both open, they're both thriving, about 75% capacity. We have new families coming and joining us virtually for worship through our preschools. And we're really excited about that ministry. Both of the preschools are moving forward to, to, to right the ship and be solvent each month going forward. Anua, of course, like so many other ministries, uh, uh, has a lag in giving, but the really powerful thing about Anua is they spend what they bring in and they continue with reduced giving to do just amazing things. Several hundred young adults over in Nabasha, Kenya, as they sustain their way out of poverty. And so we're, we're very proud of that ministry and the work it's doing. You'll see a line here called other ministry income that's ahead of budget. Other ministry income would be things like the Dance Studio 150, uh, Foundry Ministry, Brain Fitness, those those ministries of our church that bring in some income. It also has to do with gifts from the Marcy Trust, which has uh, extended its giving to us this year, as well as money drawn across from our trustees endowment fund, our, our Winter Park Endowment Fund, that was brought across to address several facilities projects, things like speakers in the sanctuary and some uh, landscaping at Reeves that comes from the endowment it has to show up in the book, so it comes through income, and that's why that's about 200 and change ahead of budget. Now, you'll see the expenses, and the first thing to see is the first four categories there, the four pillars, the way we organize our church, and, and all of them are underspending. And I'm very proud of our staff and our lay leaders for minding the expense even when some ministries are taking more money than expected, like to do virtual worship. That has required more costs to expand that ministry, and yet we still are under expense. The only category you see that is above budget expense is the building benefits, apportionments, and salaries, and that is that 200000 give or take, that was brought in from the trustees endowment to pay for building projects. It has to be reflected, so it comes in through extra income and comes out through extra expense. Everything else in that category, the apportionments, the salaries, the benefits are all in line. And so what you'll find at the bottom there, the net income is that uh, normally in a non-COVID year, we would expect to be just over $300,000 upside down or in the red through the end of September and in fact, in this COVID year, we're about $650,000 upside down through the end of September for a net of about $335,000 difference than we expected on a non-COVID year. And that, that's what's really exciting is that, that we remember, we got the PPP loan. And so the PPP loan of $450,000 will help cover the net loss, if you will. It's not showing up on the books until it's actually forgiven. And so, so summary, 
thank you for your generosity. Income is, is great. Uh, expense, we're holding the line. We're keeping the ship afloat and we're grateful to you. One thing to remember, December is such a big month for us in terms of offering. Right around Christmas, in a normal year, we would take in about $500,000. Uh, this year, we don't expect that. And we've amended the budget to, to figure what we think we're going to do. But even with the amended down to about 280000 that's several times larger than the average month in the summer. And so be thinking about that and, and ways that God might be prompting you to, to be uh, practicing generosity. But we're just so grateful and so thankful and appreciate the way that you continue to support your church family and to bless others. Now, I know that these numbers don't excite everyone. That is, you know, some of us, we look at the numbers and our eyes cross and we, we you know, it's great, but we want to know what they represent. And so when I see these numbers, I see ministry to the community through our preschools and godly teachers who, who love on their students and help families center themselves around Christ. I see uh, ministry through the dance studio and allowing people to live out the joy of life through the dance. And I'm excited how our director, Laura Work, is talking about worship of God through dance. I see it in the foundry, those serving, uh, serving those that are aging out of the foster care system, the folks that, that don't have access to the same resources you and I would and the same connections and support. And, and boy, do they need, they need our support and love in this time. And I see it in uh, brain fitness and serving the community members who, who have a loved one who's experiencing mild memory loss through mild cognitive decline and, and all that that goes on into that. And I see it in Anua and helping people sustain their way out of poverty. So, so your generosity is directly impacting and transforming lives. I see in these numbers the way we care for each other and our growth of our pastoral care ministry and the pastors uh, every week get together and we're all involved in visitation. And, and during this season, there has been a lot of, of need and a lot of loss. And we have about a dozen lay ministers who, who join us and they help check in with people that have agreed to let them check in and see how they're doing. We're getting ready to launch Stephen Ministry, which is a support ministry of lay trained lay people. And we're uh, ready to launch our counseling center down at Reeves and and the need for that and the support structure of that is great. And so thank you for your generosity. It is, it is making a difference and blessing people's lives. I see in these numbers worship and the ability to, to join with my church family and worship God and, and be in the sanctuary. And up to now, it hasn't like be being this, but now we can be in the sanctuary and online and there have been extra expenses. And so your generosity just helps us to do that. By the way, if you'd like to join us in worship, we'd love to have you. We're doing that at both the 9 and 11 o'clock services. And we have a need. We have a great need. To be together in person, we need volunteers. Folks that will greet people at the parking lot, will help direct traffic. Folks will sign people in. People will usher and make sure they're all kind of socially distanced. And so if you feel safe doing that, you can have a, a powerful, profound ministry to another and help others worship God by coming and volunteering. Just contact me or the church office, sign up online to be a volunteer. We would deeply appreciate that. We need your help. So thank you for all that you do and all that you are giving to support our church family and support its ministry to our community. It is needed now more than ever before. And so God bless you, and I'll see you in worship. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.